Hi, it's Dave at Stable Vehicle Contracts. Hope you're doing okay. We're at the Frankfurt Motor Show over in Germany. I'm going to take you on a little bit of a tour around the Audi stand today, show you a few of the cars which are, one of them is a world premiere, so we'll get into that in a minute, and a few of the other cars which we're expecting to see on the UK roads in the next couple of weeks, uh, and some, um, some facelifted vehicles as well. So we'll have a little wander around and see what we find. So we'll start with I think the headline stopper uh, here today, which is this, is the Audi RS4 Avant. So this is the world premiere for the new RS4 Avant. As you can see, you can't get too close to it. Not let us in as yet, but hopefully we'll get an invite uh, soon. So we'll have to uh, admire from a distance at, at the minute. But uh, it looks absolutely stunning. Um, the engine they've put in this is the same as the RS5 Coupe. So it's the 2.9 CFSI Quattro engine. Uh, so it should be absolutely rapid. Um, the colour is this uh, Nogado blue, which Audi, uh, they put on all their RS uh, vehicles in this Nogado blue at the show here today. So they're obviously banking on that as being a really popular colour over the next couple of uh, couple of months. Now come over to the uh, have a look at the RS5 Coupe. As you can see, I don't know if you pick it up, it's absolutely rammed here today. So this is the RS5 Coupe, which has been out for a little while now. It's got uh, a few options on it which show upgrades. For example, this the carbon inlays there. And also, I don't think these are standard, but come have a look at these alloys. They are absolutely massive. I wouldn't like to try and keep them clean or not curb them, but that would cost a couple of quid I reckon to, uh, to put them right. vehicle's got a ton of optional equipment on it, uh, too many to list. Uh, a couple of things low are the carbon fibre roof and then it's got carbon fibre uh, inlays there and the door mirrors are all carbon fibre. Personally I think it looks a little bit too much, what do, what do you think? Yeah it's a, bit, uh, it's a bit flash isn't it? I think so yeah, but what do you think? Is that too much or does it just look like? One thing I do like though, if you come, now it's a bit quieter for space. I love these now on the new Audis. That little detail yeah. there. Looks absolutely stunning. We can probably get a little bit of a shot inside now actually because yeah. there's a bit of, uh, bit of space. So it's, it's an exhibition model so yeah this price of this car with all these bits on it is about £129,000. It's sort of meant to be in your face. Um, I'm not sure you'd spec it up to this sort of level if you're buying it yourself with the, the, the cream leather, carbon inlays, all looks a little bit too much for me. But that being said, it's absolutely fantastic. Really nice car. So 
next up we're looking at the Audi RS3 Sportback. So these are coming into the UK uh, middle part of September, so we're expecting them soon. Um, this car uh, says the Sportback, we were hoping to see a saloon today, so a bit disappointed that wasn't here as well. But I mean, it's not changed massively for me, it's not the facelift of it, it's not a massive difference to the old one. So it does look nice, but we'd like to see something a little bit more, a little bit more cutting edge perhaps. Behind me, this melee behind me is an Audi TT RS Coupe with Audi performance parts pack on it. I think that car's like 130 grand, 140 grand, something like that. And everyone is crawling all over it, picking it apart. Like you wouldn't believe it's crazy. I can't believe how busy it is. So behind me I've got uh, a new car from Audi. So Audi are really, really good at quattro four-wheel drive vehicles uh, and high-performance cars. So what they've done is they've took the Audi R8, 5.2 V10 engine, which will work perfectly with the quattro four-wheel drive system. They've scrapped that, you don't need that. Need. What you need is a rear-wheel drive version of it. So that's what they've made there as a limited edition. So I'll be interested to know in a few years time, out of all these limited edition rear wheel drive R8s, how many of them are actually still in existence and how many have been wrapped around the tree because it's just got a recipe for disaster uh, written all over it. A beautiful car, uh, but I've no idea why Audi would make it as a two wheel drive. What they've said is, I know what they've said, they've said it's for the purists, that's the sort of the official line. Uh, you know, the sort of people who like to feel the car, drive it as it should be driven, but it's just got, uh, it's going to end in tears if you ask me.
for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have don't forget to like share it and hit the subscribe button just there and watch some other videos here as well thanks for watching see you again soon